artificial hard for this Firefox logo and you need a scratch of paper which have a orange on one side and a blue on one side but for now I use a white on one side because I don't have paper which have that two color so first of all you need to fold the paper in half then fold the other side then divide this half into two then divide again and for this one rotate the paper fold this edge to this end the crease Fold, then fold this edge to this piece like that. Then we divide the paper down in, in half. Do the same thing on this side. Right, then I'm going to divide this half, half in half so it's just make grid. So don't fold until this point. So make sure everything is aligned. So do the same on this side. Right, then like this in half do the same on these three sides as well right so now you're going to fold this point to this point Right, like this. Then, now we want to fold paper in half, like this. And after that, we're gonna fold this crease, the first crease. Then going to make this like the bottom bone base but only done uh, so we make the diamond folds and this crease around this here uh, this square and we want to fold it by pushing these two points to and meet together like this then at this point we're going to flat the model down like this So add one more crease right here, like this, then we flat it down. So make sure everything is aligned correctly, like this. 
Then I'm going to make a red bow right here. Like this. With the existing crease. And right now I'm going to fold this point this edge to this crease. Make a diner fold like this. Do the same thing here. Right. Then I'm going to make this crease and this crease as well and make something like this. Then make a crease right here. So while doing that, we fade down to this point like this. Then the crease right here will directly come out. So You get something like this. So we will set the model like this. And now we're going to fold this flap at this point like this and this point we're going to meet this ash here like this right then I'm going to fold this up like this and this ash will meet with this point so You get something like this. Then going to fold it back like this. Right? So now I'm going to do a shoe fold right at the back like this. Then fold this down like this. You will do something like this. And for this part, I'm going to flat this down. Then Open this and push this to this side and pull this down like this and we just rotate the two flaps. So now for this tail part I'm going to fold this edge and this point will meet with this point this and make a fold like this as you can see right so now I'm going to make this flap 
and fold it down about this and we align with the edge here so about this much then make this crease into the fold and we do a rest fold So now we fold it down first, then unfold, then we're going to fold this down, fold like this while making a fold like this so you can adjust it until you see there's some curve right here or not a curve but look like a curve so you play down like this now you're going to make the ear of the wolf so of a fox sorry so going to fold this down and fold this up a little like this then We're going to make this right here. Then going to make this inside out for this sink or can go as a sink right like this. Then turn the paper over, fold this edge to this crease here. Oh no, oh no, a crease, there should be some crease right here. Then fold it like that and I'm going to make sure I fold like this. So flat down. that and now going to ship the tears here for this ash like this so that you can see the white part the white part like this then you do a reverse fold like this and this layer above it should overlap like this I hope you can see it it looks like this and now we're going to adjust this layer 
So we put your finger right here, push your finger, thumbs right here, and I'm going to slide this and this the thumb pushing this so just slide push until you get something like this so you won't be afraid now while curve like this so make sure after you adjust this you need to adjust here so that it will be inside this white layer then we're going to do a pitch fold right here then we open it and make this place fold and fold it like this then we're going to shape this And now going to fold this layer. So hold it and fold along this point. This bar like this. About this much and we fold another mesh so along this point this so we're making something look like a a bit of fold so we just make curve this so now we shape everything like this and the white finger just shape it into a circle so if you don't anything correctly you get something like this So you can also shape this as well too. So if you done it correctly, you get something look like this. And if you like this model, please don't forget to click the thumbs up button and also don't forget to click subscribe button and also you can watch other video that others right here thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video bye